um, 5% is not a binding target, which means the government actually, you know, give it a roundabout number about 5%. Well, according to our experience of last year, uh, it's also been set the target at 5%, but eventually turns out to be 5.2%. Actually, uh, you know, by numbers, I'm very confident about this target to be achieved again by the end of this year. For example, if I take a look at the facilities being utilized by the Central Bank of China, uh, we have some of the uh, rep up investment, you know, from the end of last year, which is makes about like uh, 2 trillion Chinese yuan. And also, at the beginning of the year, actually, after two sessions, we confirmed about another, like, five or six trillion Chinese yuan. And also, come after that, we're going to have lots of other facilities, for example, like the loans from the central bank or some other uh, similar package or the uh, fiscal packages. So put together, roughly, we did a calculation, is about 10 trillion Chinese yuan. This is a very, very large, you know, uh, you know, uh, impetus into the whole economy. So I think that will generate a certain kind of the effect. Of, and uh, for sure, Chinese balance sheet, no matter from the uh, local government, from the property developers, from the household, or to the, you know, general private sectors are, you know, getting recovered. So we think this year is going to be a you know very steady, slow, but a recovering year. So 5% of the, the target or 5.2% will be again achieved, I think.